All right, so I talked about this topic a little bit before, but I'm going to talk on this topic of love and I'm going to talk about the topic of love and relationships. Now, first off, realize that love is a state of being. There is no searching for love. There is no looking for love. There is no finding love. There is no falling in love. Love is a state of being. When you say that you're searching for love, looking for love, finding love, you create that detachment from love, which is saying that you're not being love. Now, again, we say that the subconscious mind is the ultimate control source of who we are, that everything is a reflection based off what's already programmed into our subconscious mind. For you creating that detachment from love and saying that you have to go search and find love, saying that you're looking for love, saying that you have to fall in love, you're reflecting the fact that you do not have love. Now, a lot of people think that to have love, you got to go within. And I'm not saying that's not true, but I'm going to talk about and elaborate on what going within means. So a lot of people think that, again, going within to have love or find love or search for love, or you have to go internal to find this love. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong, but what I'm saying is still, you're not searching or going in to find it. No. What you're doing is going in and rewiring and reprogramming that subconscious to be that love you have to literally create yourself to be love it's the whole method is, is broke down into conversations in the book conversations with god where it's a be do have a lot of us think that we have to have something to then do something to finally be something but no how the universe how the law of attraction works it is you receive what you declare to the universe and prove and show the universe through your thoughts words and actions meaning that once you start to create yourself to be that, more specifically, once you create yourself and make yourself to be love, life will only reflect love to you. Now, in terms of relationships, because so many people live in this fear mindset, what happens in the universe is fulfilling these fearful desires. Because so many people are worried about getting cheated on, they're worried about getting left, they're worried about who they're texting, they're worried about them not coming home, they're worried about this and that happening. What we're doing is feeding that energy into these things that we claim that we're opposed to, but we're actually the ones creating that to happen. So in terms of relationships, in terms of love, we're literally creating that fear-based, our, I mean, let me not even say fear-based, we're creating a foundation of our relationship based off fear already. Now again, what's happening is because so many people are detached from love and are not in that state of being a love, now they're having to try to rewire themselves and so-called look for this love, meaning that they're going to continue to live in this detachment from love. What I'm getting at, and to summarize and finalize this video, to have love, you have to be love. If you are somebody that is in of or going for a certain relationship, for that to be a loving and successful relationship, you have to fully act in the state of love. Not fearing, not worrying about the things that could go wrong, but you have to focus on and think of the things that are only right, are only to happen right. And again, I specifically stated it and worded it and articulated it like that for a specific reason. You are love. Love is that natural state and that highest state of being. There's only two true emotions, which is love and fear. Are you going to continue to give fear to your life? Are you going to start stepping into your ultimate source in that position of love that you are?